Cheers, Norok. Hi guys, I'm Andrea and um, let's just have fun with makeup, right? Uh, <laughs> I like to try a very raved about, about uh, talked about foundation. Um, I'm curious about it because as summer comes um, and there's more heat and there's more sweating and there's more all of that good night stuff, <laughs> um, so does our makeup start to melt. So um, I picked up a um, sample size, got it right here with my little mixer. My Q-tip, have a Q-tip. Um, I got the uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear and I have it in 2.0. Uh, it's the warm vanilla. I seem to match the best when I uh, tried it out at Sephora. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, put it on. I already have this sunscreen on. Is the, um, it's the Beauty of Josan. And uh, I put it on quite a while back. Maybe, let's see, about an hour ago. Yes, time goes fast. Um, so because of that, I kind of actually went and I sprayed a little bit of a um, toner, I guess, on my face. It's from uh, Fit Glow Beauty Night Essence. It's a toner. It's not an essence. It's really light. So I just sprayed it on just to make sure that my face is not too dry. So um, what I like to do when I try foundations is do one side with the hand and then one side with the brush because that way it kind of gives you an idea of if this is a good... Um, if it's good for with hands or not, it's just, it's more fun, I guess, you know? I know that some people uh, like uh, uh, the little sponges. I really have never been a fan of it. Um, I don't know. I reserve the right to, the right to change my mind <laughs> because I don't know what's gonna happen in the future. But right now, this is all I all I like. So I'm gonna go ahead and put, um, with my Q-tip, some on this side. And then I'll just take my, Piccolo Beauty uh, Kabuki brush and I'll just go ahead and you know go to town have fun with it let's see all right almost from the bat it looks like the um, the color is good my um, can you see here yep that's actually from the uh, Piccolo uh, brush. I've noticed that I'm getting some shedding and there's two more. You see that? I don't know if you can see that. But anyways, there's three total right now. Um, it's shed. It, it, it had shed. It's shedded. <laughs> it had shed before too. Um, so it's not the first time. Okay, so I had that for like a few seconds and it didn't dry, which is good. Because I know this is a very uh, fast setting foundation so I'll just uh, keep it going a little bit I know I'm not taking a lot with this q-tip so it's not like pumping a whole pump and you know putting it up but I do like to go in a little bit at a time just to kind of you know work it in and see where what I need where I need I don't want to go in with too much at once and then you know kind of spoil the review I'm gonna need a little bit in here. I still have some in my kit on my kit. Dip. And uh, I'm gonna put a concealer underneath, so I'm not gonna go with that. Um, it seems like it's a little, it shows my dry spots on my nose. Man, I just cannot get rid of those dry spots. No matter how much I moisturize, no matter what I do, so far I have not come with the best, I guess. Okay. I just layered a bit to see if it does um, do good for the pimples. And, uh, eh, not too much. But it's a very uh, dark spot there, so that might just be the, the nature of it. Okay, well, this has set, that's for sure. I'm going to go around here. And uh, let's see, just on my nose, because my nose seems like it's needing a little bit of a help. You can see the dry spots. Okay, I'm gonna stop right now. Maybe, maybe. I 
I'm seeing like little polka dots, little dots in the, maybe I'll just mix it some more or blend it, I should say. It's not so much down here as it is on my forehead. Just blend it in good. This is a very nice brush, but I don't know if it's not the brush. Because it happened with other foundations too, so and different um, brushes too. So I'm gonna go on the other side and just uh, get some with my Q-tip and just. But first, let's just let's just stick it in the difference. It looks perfected. It looks nice. Uh, it looks evened. So um, it's very light consistency. So it goes in really smooth. It spreads really nice. I'm sure it has a lot of silicones in there for that. I'm gonna use my hand for that, but I'm gonna go just with some from the beginning. Now I have a bunch of spots on this side as well, so we'll see how that how that does. It's really bright outside. It spreads very easily. It has no problem spreading. What I do like about the hand side is that it gets into really little crevices um, and you don't have to like really work the brush too much. Oop, get back. And also because of the dots, um, usually when a foundation shows dots, uh, it does much better with the hand than it does with the brush. Well, that's set up really quickly, but it looks nice. Uh, I need some more. It looks heavy on this side here. Do you see that? Yep. Like it needs to be kind of spread there. I'm going to take just a tiny bit and kind of match the the coverage on the other side, especially up here. And there, a little bit here, a little bit, oh yeah, because I can definitely see my sunspots, which are like right here. Let's see if this does it. Much better. Well, you can still see it. I mean, it's not, f whether it is because I'm using little at a time or littler or less amount, but it doesn't seem to be like really full coverage from the beginning. I'm sure you can uh, build it up like I'm doing right now. You can still see my spots here. Do you see my spots? My sound spots is what I'm talking about right here. You can see them on this side too. I like it with the hand actually. I actually really like it with the hand. I can see dots over here. I see those dots here. And here too. It's not with all of the foundations, but man, it just seems like it's settling in the pores. Like, yeah, got a little bit on my hairline. I'm gonna take the brush and kind of go around because I see there's like a little too much, like it's not blended right in some parts. Like right above my lip and chin, nose, and there's another hair. Okay, if we go. Don't disappoint me, please. I really like this brush. It's really nice, so I hope it's not shedding like this maybe it's just those hairs that are ready to come out i don't know all right um yeah okay let's look on my nose is where i see the most difference the most disturbing difference i should say um you can see it like it really clang into the dry spots both sides a brush and also um hand but it definitely looks more heavy on the brush side than it is on the hand side. 
it looks less coverage here, which is surprising because this one seemed that um, it built up more coverage. But it uh, it definitely looks like it, it's nicer on this side. So you know what? Now that I know, I'm just going to go ahead and with my hand and um, smooth out whatever if I can. It kind of set. It kind of have set. Has set. Has set. Has set. 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 One of those. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not liking the way it looks on my nose. It really looks like I'm a strawberry. Look at this strawberry. And more settlement here. But it's definitely like quite dry. Like it's dry. I mean, you can hear some. But it's definitely, um, it's definitely set really good. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, put something underneath my eyes. I'm actually trying a concealer. And um, I'll just come back after I do the whole face to see how it looks and what it does, if it peels or not or what. Um, so far, uh, the, co the uh, color matches really good. I think it does to my neck, which is what I'm interested to match. Um, I definitely um, am not able to build it enough to where it covers up these spots, which, I mean, it's a foundation. You don't expect that really. But you can really see the ones that are even less. Actually, I'm going to put a little more because I feel like it needs a little more. Get some more coverage. Not much, really. Come on, Estee Lauder. You're supposed to have good coverage. Hold up. Am I using too little, you guys? I don't really am a fan of using too much. Okay. Um, hmm. So I build it up just for the coverage of it, but, and it's setting really quickly, but it's not really covering as much as I would like it to cover. I'll be fine though. I'll be fine. All right, I'm gonna clean my hands and go ahead and finish my makeup and then I'll come back and I'll show you how it looks with all of it. So I'll see ya. Hey guys, I just got done with my makeup. And so let's look at um, the actual foundation. Now, um, I went ahead and I put some uh, concealer, the one that I put under my eyes, I put it on my nose because for some reason uh, it was starting to show and it's already starting to show too. Now, uh, there's some like little spots that are like reddish. Hold on. Do you see that on my nose? Like right up here. There's like little spots that are red and it was definitely poking through over here too. So I don't know what the deal, I don't know what the deal is, but I definitely showed it. So for some reason, my nose does not want to hold on foundation. So I went ahead and I put that uh, concealer on thinking that it would do better. It does look better, but it definitely is polka dotted and it's like the foundation and the concealer, they just do not look <laughs> properly. They don't look right. They look like, like I have a strawberry nose, first of all. And then second of all, um, it's just, it really emphasizes the dryness. It, it really just does not look nice. Underneath the, the nose, actually, the part with the uh, brush doesn't look really nice. But the part with the fingers actually looks better. Now, I went ahead and I set the middle of my face, thinking that I'll get the uh, <laughs> that foundation and concealer to actually stay. But uh, we'll see. Um, I don't have anything on the sides of my face. I have it so uh, T-zone a little bit like kind of middle of my eye because I've got like emphasized pores here or bigger pores I should say um, so I kind of try to minimize the look of it by just kind of powdering down and also uh, down to my chin oily t-zone oily t-zone problems so other than that um, the foundation looks um, looks okay so from far it looks really nice from from close you can see all of the little imperfections you can see all of the um, little uh, polka dotted 
uh, pores, I guess, uh, that it's settled in my pores there. Um, usually, <laughs> when a foundation is polka dotted, it shows it more on the uh, brush side, but this time it shows both of them, so... I don't know, peeps, if you know anything about it, if you know what this cause, what's causing this polka dot, is it my skin? And if so, what the heck am I doing? Because <laughs> honestly, it's just like so many foundations are settling, not all of them though, but so many foundations are just settling in my pores and it's just showing it so uh, polka dotted. So I have a good skincare routine, so I don't know what's going on. I'll have to actually um, show you what I'm using one of these, one of these times. But um, so far, um, not totally disappointed. It actually is, it, it looks nice, you guys. It looks nice other than like if you have dry skin with flaky skin. No, if you have flaky skin, uh, it's gonna show. Uh, and then the polka dotted. So I don't know what that is. So other than, than that, it, it looks really nice on the rest of my skin. Whatever I built it up doesn't look heavy at all. So remember, I, I built it up here. It doesn't look heavy at all. It looks nice. It looks really evened out. If I'm looking like really far, it looks very perfected. It looks really nice. But uh, I'm also looking to see how the longevity of this foundation is because it's the summer. So um, I'll keep you posted. I'll come back in about three to four hours, check in to kind of show you how things are looking down the road. And then um, we'll take it from there. But yeah, when uh, makeup went really nice on top of it, everything went smooth, everything um, blended nicely. So there was no patchiness of anything of some sorts. So yeah, really good. I guess I'll see how it wears. Man, one of these times I'm gonna get my, my skin in check and not have any pillies. But see, the thing with that is, now that I have flaky skin, I know, <laughs> and I can tell you, if you have flaky skin, it's not gonna do good. So I guess it's not that bad, not all bad, I should say. At least it serves a purpose, you know, I, I can tell you what's happening, um, especially because I have T-zone, um, oily T-zone, and then, then dry on the sides. So this one did really good with the dry, you know, just uh, the sides, yeah. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you later. Bye. And coffee break. Now to finish this delicious coffee. Maybe I'll get some sweet on the side. Oh, yeah. I'll see what I can get. Bye. Hallelujah. I just learned after three freaking months. Okay. This just a long press. That's it. That's all it takes. No click, click, click. Um, four hours in, and this is how the situation looks. Uh, I took a little peek, peek, a little peek, a little peek in the mirror. So I can see um, the most wear on the chin area. So it looks a little shiny all over, which I don't mind shiny as long as it's not looking like oily, like greasy. Um, a little shine is actually nice, but um, I'm gonna come in close. If you can see the chin area, like especially on this part here. So this is um, actually this uh, side with my hand, and then this is the side with the um, brush. So it looks like the, hand, the side with the hand actually did worse, even though I powdered, um, and it should be the same but it's not, so yeah, it kind of, I don't know how to explain it, almost like like it gathered, you know, like it um, it collected in the, in the pores. Now, as soon as I did this, did you see how easy that was? It was just, that was it. That was all that it needed. And it looks so nice now. <laughs> what is that? But nothing here, really. I mean, sure, yeah, you can see foundation, but it's not really broken down like this side. That's uh, that's something else. Well, at least now we know that it does much better with the brush, even though it didn't look like that at the beginning, than it does with the hands. Um, it still looks amazing where I um, layered it on the side, where I layered it here. It still looks amazing. It hasn't gathered. It hasn't broken down. It hasn't nothing. Now, remember, on the uh, nose, I already put some... Um, of that concealer just to kind of help the situation so that 
we might not take much in consideration but let's look at the cheeks um like i said i see like shininess i think you can see more in there from what i can tell i'm gonna get the um blotting papers i'm gonna use this jolzy because they're free and um well they were free with my package i didn't get them from them i just when i place an order i mean you guys know if you place orders on jolzy they almost always put one in there so things jolzy uh here's the um, um blotting paper let's see yeah but it really didn't look bad can we see this yeah i can see it yeah it really didn't look bad um it definitely looks on the paper that is a lot of oiliness but um it's definitely manageable so um i didn't really do any strenuous uh anything so i really didn't sweat or anything like that even though i was outside eh, for like a half an hour maybe uh in the sun and it was quite strong the sun was quite hot so maybe but nothing else really nothing that would make me sweat really so this is um what it looks like now it gathered up here um so this actually is from the foundation because i only went on the nose not down towards the cheeks so i'm gonna just go and blot in there and kind of um soak up the oils usually the nose is the one that gets the most um wear and tear and um all that because it's the most oily so other than that i think it actually worked pretty good you guys what do you think i'm gonna go in the um cheek area i don't know if this one does anymore this is pretty much done but we just never know uh, and i'm gonna go ahead and with the hand because uh if you can tell it's really looking like it needs some help in their blending okay and that's a quick fix i mean you can do that so let's see in the little very little settlement here i mean you can barely see it in my smile lines there's just a a scar but this is a smile line but yeah i think it actually worked really good you guys so for the four hours in i'm really happy how it went um i'm not gonna powder at all i'm not going outside really so i don't need to powder anymore um from the the first time so i'll see you at the end of the day and see how it actually were and i'll keep it posted and hopefully this is a winner and then uh you know we have something for the summer hey guys it's been like 11 hours since i put this foundation on uh it's past eight o'clock so uh let me show you how it looks um I did put the concealer on the no on my nose, so we're gonna dis disregard that one. <laughs> disregard the nose. Let's just look from here up and then from here down, <laughs> and of course the cheeks and stuff. But um, it um, the foundation got really luminous uh, to the point of oily actually. So um, I'm gonna take a blotting sheet, courtesy of Jolzy. And uh, I'll just show you how it actually looks. Uh, I mean, how much oil is this to get? Like, uh, remember, I did not blot, so this is just this is just how it is uh, without blotting or anything. I did um, I did get outside a little bit, and um, it was quite sunny. But also, um, I was cooking some stuff, and I was by the stove, so it, it got to be hot. <laughs> And I kind of got warmer outside, so um, got a little warmer inside since I had the door open. So, but yeah, it's really, 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 really oily. So um, it lasted for just those hours. And then um, by the second check-in, as you can see, uh, it definitely would have needed something um, to, you know, uh, suck up the oils and maybe add some um, some more color, some more um, coverage, I should say. Yeah. So, um, I mean, it doesn't look bad on the sides where I have dry skin. So it does definitely, it definitely does not look like it's um, bunched up. It does not look peely. It doesn't look flaky. Um, it does not look like um, it broke down at all. So. Um, Actually, those polka dotted uh, places that I had, um, like polka dotted pores or whatever, those are not there anymore. 
so maybe the oils went through and kind of took care of that but um yeah it's definitely it's definitely good for like dry skin you know uh not for oily skin and for longevity wise because it did look good at the beginning and the the first four hours it looked really nice actually but um going down um past a half a day really um you'd have to definitely take care of it so uh blotting and maybe you know applying some powder or whatever it is that you want to apply or just let it be because it really doesn't look bad it just looks less coverage you can tell that my redness around my nose is poking through and um it's a uh, it's definitely showing the pimples um they're showing so yeah um if you like this type of coverage um that's great uh really do good for your dry skin or regular skin just uh normal skin but oily skin it didn't really do much for me so you know give and take it looks good but it doesn't last um it doesn't break down but it also um doesn't last the coverage it's not there so <laughs> it's like uh, uh, what do you want more you know which one but anyways guys this was the review i hope that you um enjoyed it and i hope that you learned something uh, i'm gonna keep wearing it a couple more days and see um you know what i can get from it uh like i said it really looks nice like especially when you first apply it it looks perfected it looks nice on the skin but i'll wear it a few more days uh just to see what it does so um up until i see you next time you guys take care uh don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on future videos like this one and uh give it a thumbs up if you liked it uh, up until i see you next time you guys take care bye